Josh, Josh. I, I know you've got a bit of a jaw injury, so I know it's going to be difficult, but you've got your belt back. Listen, got my belt back. You know what? It wasn't just for me. It wasn't just for my family. It wasn't just for me, my wife and my kids. It's for all these who supported me. Honestly, I got I got seven bells knocked out of me by Michelle Lara. They were there to support me, get revenge. Edenly, come back for the world title. They're there again. You know what? Listen. We might not do the same numbers as the big boys, the AJs and the Furies, but I'd rather have an arena full of these lot than fucking 100,000 of tourists any day of the week. And you know what? Sorry. I know I'm not Eddie's favourite cup of tea, Yorkshire tea, but when... When I'm on it, and these lot fucking turn out, he knows there's no fucking like it in the world, never mind this country. Like the great man Skinner said. Can't... <laughs> can't close your will. Yeah, can't close your will. I can't even speak. Listen, we're not, <laughs> we're not the biggest stickers ever. Will we? We do all right, and we're fucking... We're not bad. Love you a lot, Leeds. Just... Josh, Josh, Josh. Eddie, come in, Eddie. We've had some really good nights here. He's had some big nights here as well. Considering what's happened with Josh in the last couple of years, inactivity, the loss to Mauricio Lara, unfortunately what happened at Head and Lee, is this one of his biggest nights? This is, this is the defining night to become a two-time world champion. You know, when he lost to Mauricio Lara, one of the reasons that he lost is because he didn't have this lot. He was a different fighter behind closed doors. He came out tonight, he made history, he became a two-time world champion, and honestly, he couldn't do it in front of better people. The reason he got an opportunity to fight for the world title again was because of this crowd. Simple as that. And without them, he wouldn't have this opportunity. He's been coming here for eight years. Eight years they've been supporting him. We first come here on a Wednesday night in front of two or three thousand. Tonight we've got the whole tiers open, not a spare seat in the house. And, you know, listen, I know I may not sometimes get a few boos, but I've got to say, you lot have been incredible supporting this man. Incredible. And without him, he wouldn't get these opportunities. Not that many boos tonight, Eddie. That's all right. Josh, I hate asking what next, but there is the WBA featherweight champion to your left, Lee Wood. Could we have a unification, Ellen Road, the city ground? Well, I'll tell you what, what next? I wouldn't mind a bit of bread and butter pudding, a cheeseburger, a pint with all these lot, a party. I wouldn't mind going home, having sex with Mrs. because it's been about four weeks. Too much information, Josh, too much. Listen, you know what? If we've got to go down and boot the, bo the doors off of the city ground, a way day, we'll do it. But for a long time, we've been wanting to go to the States. I've got many of these, we've got the passports on the ready, credit cards on the ready, so we want an away day next. 11 times we've been here, we've done Edley, we've done Ellen Road, let's have an away day. Lee, come in, Lee, if you can. Lee, is it a fight you want next as well, Lee? This is his night, you know, let him enjoy his night, and then we'll talk about what's next. Eddie, you've got so many good featherweights. We could do this one next. I mean, you could go to the States. He mentioned there Navaretti, Mark Maxayo, possibly. What next for him, Eddie? Well, these lot have been incredible, but I know they'd love a night in Vegas. That's for sure. But listen, as Lee Wood said, there's plenty of options tonight. Josh Warrington, when we started working together again, he had a dream, many dreams, and tonight they become reignited. Lee Wood's a tremendous champion, but tonight, Josh Warrington is the two-time featherweight champion of the world. Josh, final word from you. These fans, Josh, these fans. Like I say, over the years from that Wednesday night, there were like 3,000 in here, and like eight years, Eight years and no one else in British boxing be doing it. No one is no one is as loyal as these lot. I, give a, I don't care what anybody says. These are the best in the world. You see the noise they bring. The first and last.
It's just something about the Warren and support and uh, the release lot. And I, I'll be forever indebted to him. Josh, congratulations. Honestly, fantastic performance. And the new, Josh, and the new. Can I get a two-time?